YouTube was good. Chavis Crew was handling what's the Chavis Crew, my family. You guys are in attention to that. Back with another video for you guys today. Man, just chilling on the couch. Literally just shocked right now. Um, no, I wasn't necessarily rooting for the Lakers, but I definitely thought that they would close out this game. And Jimmy Butler said otherwise. Um, first things first, man. LeBron played a heck of a game. Um, LeBron went off. LeBron had 40, 13, and 7. Anthony Davis had 28, 12, and 3. They both played 42 minutes. Uh, Caldwell Pope played well. He had 16. Um, Danny Green, uh, not so well. Caruso, three points. Kuzma, seven points. Rondo didn't really play well. Um, so it basically was like a two and a half headed monster from the Lakers um, with uh, Caldwell Pope and his 16. Um, I think he played decently well, uh, probably a little bit better in the first half. But man, bro, first of all, Danny Green, you have to hit that open three. Um, Danny Green hits that open three. The Lakers are celebrating tonight. Um, also, another developing thing that could be, you know, troubling for the Lakers coming soon, too, is Anthony Davis hurt his heel earlier in the game, was limping. Um, got up, started playing through it fine. Um, but near the end of the game, he rolled it really bad. Um, and he was clearly limping. Um there late in the fourth quarter um, to the point where, you know, he was kind of uh, not even included in the offensive scheme um, at the end of the game, man. So that's something that you definitely got to look out for. AD is does not seem to be 100 percent. Will he be 100 percent by Sunday? Um, we'll we'll see. You know, it just depends on how he heals and depends on the treatment and all that stuff. And um, but, yeah, that's definitely a de developing story to look for. But Jimmy Butler, like I, I told y'all last video, I that's been my favorite player to watch this series, literally. Like, um, and I love what the Miami Heat are doing. They are allowing him to isolate by keeping him around all shooters. Everybody's a shooter, and then you got Bam near the rim. So if if your guy slip, if uh, Bam's guy slips up and help. He just throw the lob over the top. So it, it allows Jimmy Butler to play one-on-one -on -one basketball with whoever is guarding him. And if you do that with a really good offensive player in the NBA, it's going to be hard to stop them. You know, a guy as good as Jimmy Butler, he can score on all three levels. Um, he's very crafty. I love the mid-range game that he's, he's showing, man. And if you're a young basketball player, make sure you study that. Watch him. Watch the mid-game Watch the uh, uh, the spin move into a little fade or jump shot. I work on that with my guys every single day. It's a great shot, very tough shot to guard. Um, but, man, Jimmy had 35, 11, and 11 in 47 minutes. Completely exhausted, gave everything he had. Um, but I think um, another guy that stood out uh, was Duncan Robinson. Duncan Robinson had, you know, the game of his um, – uh, uh, finals, first finals appearance. He had 26 points, five rebounds, two assists. He moved so well without the basketball. You know, he he um, he played well defensively. Um, he just he just had an overall really good game. He shot the piss out of that ball. Uh, Bam had 13, four and four. You could tell he's still not 100. percent He played 38 minutes though, and just given everything he has, Crowder, you know, making the toughness plays and. Um, he had 11 points, but you got one, two, three, four, five, six guys in double figures. Uh, and you have three Lakers guys in double figures. That is the game. That is the game. The young fellas, Kendrick Nunn came off the bench going crazy. He he hit some really big shots. Um, Tyler Hero hit some really big free throws there late in the game to kind of not seal the deal, but, you know, put them up by three. Um but, man, this was a really good game. Me and my wife sat and watched it. Um, but, but like I said, the Miami Heat shocked me, man. And 
you know, it just raises eyebrows as to what is coming next. Who, uh, who is gonna win Game Six? Can can Miami Heat? Can the Miami Heat push it to seven games and really make this thing interesting? Like them pushing it to six games to me is dope, and I think, um, you know, for the team that they have, man, it like Jimmy Butler, you, you really that guy. You're really that guy. You're really a dog. You're really different, bro. Like, I really like watching guys like that hoop. Like, for real, for real. Getting his teammates involved at the same time. But when it comes down to it, he's the guy that's being aggressive with the ball in his hands. That's what I'm used to. That's what I like. And, you know, I I, I just really like watching him play, man. And, um at all the noise and, and all these things that, you know, people are saying about LeBron and all this type of stuff. Um, you know, for, for me and LeBron, I, I like LeBron a lot, man. I really do. And, um, people think just because I feel like he's not my goal or, um, I may, uh, not agree with his style or, or I don't know his mentality fully, but what I think or what I see or my opinion on what I see from his mentality is just something that I just don't agree with. But tonight, tonight he played that way. And oddly enough, he proved me wrong. You know why I say that? He proved me wrong because the rest of his team didn't respond. So now I I somewhat understand the method to his man. He's just a little bit more than I did yesterday um, because um, he had a monster game. But then, you know, only three guys get double figures. You know, Rondo's a non-factor with four points. Um, so I, 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 I'm understanding a little bit more so of why he really wants to get his teammates involved because at the end of the game, it's like, it can't be just me. And, you know, I understand that. But then I look on the other side of that court and I see Jimmy Butler and I see what he he does and, and, you know, how he gets everybody involved, but he still looks engaged, um, in my opinion. So it's, it just looks a little bit differently to me. But, man, this was a very, very exciting game, bro. Like, um, I love watching knockdown drag outs. Me and my wife were sitting over here like, man, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Danny Green shot that three. I was like... Thing clanked off the front of the rim, man. Like, wow, this was this was a great game, and this is what you expect, um, you know, as a real basketball fan, not a casual basketball fan, not somebody that just likes basketball, but a real student of the game, a real lover of the game. Um, this is the type of game that I like to watch. It was very, very entertaining from start to finish. Very close game. It was back and forth. The the Miami Heat went up 10, they even it back up. They went up nine, they even it back up. They went up eight, they even it back up. It was just an exciting game, a really great game to watch, man. Y'all let me know in the comments below who y'all think. Do you think the Miami Heat have a chance? Do they have a chance? In my opinion, this kind of left the door open, um, especially with AD rolling that ankle. So we definitely going to see. If AD doesn't play, who is going to be a knockdown drag out boy? Or if AD is hurt just a little bit, it, it could change the complexion of this game, man. So y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all think about, you know, the Miami Heat actually having a chance. Is this a series now? Um, who do you who do you guys think is going to win the NBA championship? Um, can the Miami Heat come back from 3-1 and, 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 and win this series, man? Y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all think. Or, you know, is it just prolonging the inevitable and the Lakers win game six and go on to be crowned champions, man. Y'all let me know in the comments below how y'all thought of what y'all thought about tonight's game. Um, you know, what what do you think about you know this series moving forward, man? Y'all make sure y'all let me know in the comments below. And that is all for today's video, man. I really appreciate you guys and all the continued support that you guys show to this channel. It does not go unnoticed. Keep telling a friend and tell a friend to pull up on this channel. Much more heat is coming soon. And y'all know the slogan, God is love, God loves you, I love you, Shavis crew.